Hi everybody again. Sorry, I started breaking out a little bit too bad. Just mental breakdown got me messed up. But yes, I texted the news for three, four months, and I don't know. It was like I had some questions, and then it was like. All their game shows and everything kind of started reflecting on numbers and stuff I sent in. Uh, and I was able to pick stuff out ahead of time. And just by certain things, I would... That went on. But anyways, I'm just saying... I went through a bad mental breakdown and I thought everybody was trying to kill me. I thought I was a billionaire. I thought I had the movies, make the movies about me. I thought the commercial, this is how loony I was people. I thought, um, they were talking about me all on social media, it was, it was crazy, but the question is, I did talk to the news and CBS. In the end, they responded and talked back in some way. But, um, <sighs> yeah, anyways, I was talking about how I thought all these people were after to kill me. And, I was texting Nate Burlos and by the way, thanks for the NFL backup. <laughs> if that's true. Like I said, I don't know if any of this is true. And none of this might be just a weird coincidence. But, there's a lot of weird coincidences. But, I was texting Nate. I thought my phone was hacked. I thought people were in it. Um, Google would um, bring up... Um, when I thought people were all trying to kill me, they brought Careless up. They brought all these rappers up um, that had Careless titles to it. And I thought all these people, it was just Google pushing me through on all my things just by how they track what you like and what everything so they were bringing suggestions up and I thought all these people were after to kill me I thought my phone was talking to me I thought people were talking to me um so this is why I'm tracking what people do and uh suggesting on their google accounts or whatever like Tracking and doing whatever, however that stuff works. I don't know, I ain't a computer guy. But, yes, I thought all these people were out to kill me. And, uh, there was many nights, have y'all ever watched Enemy of the State? In the beginning, I was running around this town like that crazy guy in the beginning that got ran over. 
because I thought people were out to kill me this bad. I thought Big Meech, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Dr. Dre, uh, Kevin Gates, uh, who else had careless on him? Um, Jelly Roll, a new breed. I thought they turned against me. The Segler commercial. When I was complaining about all of the times my phone was hacked, and then they came out with the Gator one. I, I thought New Breed hacked it, and I thought New Breed was after me. I thought that's what they were saying. I thought they won. It was so messed up. My this metal breakdown that I had. It almost made me take my own life. I said. Watched out my door, every car that comes by, because I live in a trailer park and there's speed bumps every time. I wouldn't let my son come home every time I saw a car hit the brakes, which every car got to hit the brakes at a speed bump. I thought they were coming to my house to kill me. It was so bad, I was ready to go around shoot myself because everything that I thought and Google tracks on what I liked was messing with my head. I thought all, all them were about to kill me. I thought about taking my own life one <laughs> myself I love them I killed myself <laughs> nobody would bother my son I asked my son for the gun. Luckily, he wouldn't give it to me. I was just gonna go start killing people. Because I thought my phone was hacked. I thought they were in it. <laughs> like I said, all this is documented. I text TV5 saying my who's in my phone begging for mercy, begging for the FBI. I thought people were going to kill my son. I was begging for the FBI. All those times I said FBI, I was, my son's at school, all that stuff, TV5, remember that? I thought everybody was after my son. That's when I thought I was gonna, I was gonna kill myself. I couldn't even listen to music. I couldn't watch TV because I thought my TV head was hacked. Well, not my TV was hacked. I thought I was going on the Dr. Phil show in the beginning. So I thought cameras, everything I talked about, I thought everything was recorded. This is how this, this is just little bits and pieces of this mental breakdown. But this is how bad it got. How I thought. I, I texted him saying, and <laughs> was going to try to kill me. And Steve Corbett had a 
show about M&M's in the beginning. He was talking about the green one because I was saying I was green. And then I was asking him, you know, you know what green is? This means I have a hit on me. Oh, I thought everything gold and blue. I thought I was a billionaire or a millionaire. Um, they had... There's so much to this mental breakdown I could tell you about, but right now I'm so nervous and scattered brain. I'm just trying to hope. Maybe that guy in Virginia kind of started, kind of went through what I did, and I could be in his shoes today. Because Google tracked and I messed me up. Psychotic disorder. Or, what is it? Schizophrenia disorder. That's what they diagnosed me as. I got the paperwork. And it even says I text WNEM5. So I couldn't tell them that, you know, I, the TV actually really talked back to me because they don't believe me anyways. I'm in there for in the beginning, yeah, I was, was wrong, but in the end, they did. But Google, what I'm trying to say is, on schizophrenia, you can't track and make people think they're people in your phone. I'm trying to help the mental people who break down. Maybe this might save someone's life. Maybe this... Maybe it might not do nothing. I don't know. I'm just speaking out on what I went through. It's like that lady that killed her kid here in Michigan. I feel so bad for the families and everything. But I was in that lady's shoes. I almost went. Didn't know what I was doing. And by the way it sounds... I can remember everything. It still haunts me. Right now I'm so scattered, brain, because I'm talking about it. But, yes, Google, you can't do that. Recommend everything or track and do all these suggestions on what they like. People think they're in their phones, especially people that's done drugs. There's a lot of people that think their phone's hacked and everything else. And that could push somebody over the edge. And this might help with the mental population today. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just telling you what I went through. Yeah. I'm just saying, Google, you can't do that. Because I almost took my own life. I begged the TV for the FBI because I thought all these gangsters and all these people were coming after me on all these rappers. And I thought the whole world was trying to kill me. So I was so close just to go start killing. It didn't matter who. So I really hope y'all take this seriously and listen to me. Because I thought I was tracked. Nate, if I really did talk to y'all, come out and say it. Hey, I can understand the TV investigation and y'all doing your job. And trying to make a story. No big deal. I had to sweat. But if none of this and it was just hush hush and you don't. I can't understand why y'all let me text you for three, four months to this breakdown then. It, that's just totally wrong, CBS. Why didn't y'all call the law and say, hey, this lunatic, da 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 da. You could have stopped. I mean, thank God I didn't do anything, but it was so close when I was begging y'all for the FBI. All those times I texted FBI, I was praying somebody would come. 
because I thought everybody was trying to kill me. I thought anybody that got around me, I couldn't leave my house. I couldn't have my son here. I thought there was little people in the mailbox. Asked my son, I told him he was a millionaire. It was so messed up. I told him he had his college of choice because I thought all these things I did and said to all these TV things and hell, I thought I even had people singing about each other. Thought I got Toby Keith to sing about the old me. I thought it was because of me. There's so much crazy stuff. I didn't know what was going on. But if I would have done anything, I would have been in dead or in jail. Because my phone actually drove me nuts at the end. By Google tracking stuff and suggestions. So. I guess if y'all really want to hear any more. I can't talk about this right now. I thought I was going to be able to tell you about the whole breakdown. But I couldn't. I could not sit down and. My heart's racing and everything. It's bringing back a lot of nightmares. There's many times I sat in my house in the corner watching the windows, thinking about killing myself. Did all of this in the end. I'm mentally good now. I'm mentally good. I'm strong. Thank you, Saginaw Psychological, for your help. Even though I didn't talk too much about it, I can tell you, I, I can tell you through the whole mental breakdown, a whole story about it, step by step, what I did. But right now, I'm too nervous and I can't uh, my nerves are sh kind of shot again and no I'm not gonna have a mental breakdown again I'm mentally strong but I'm just trying to help maybe this like I said, maybe this might not help nobody. Maybe it might help somebody. Maybe y'all might want to change a law. Because schizophrenia, you think people are tracking you when you get the same stuff. They're paranoid. Do you understand, Google? They're already paranoid, so now you're making them think crazy stuff. Throwing them in a psychotic way, I guess, in somewhat arcane. I mean, I was already nuts coming in before. You know, I, you know, I needed help. But. In the end, I text the news for three, four months, and then it dawned on me. I just went through a mental breakdown, and I realized it. And I said, I told CBS, you just got to watch me go through a mental breakdown. After I realized nobody was coming to kill me. I couldn't listen to music, I couldn't watch TV, I couldn't, so all I could do is mentally think, and at the end, I try to listen to music, and then I would think all these rappers, it was so crazy. Oh, 
All I'm saying is, this is for the people in Virginia. Gail King, two days ago, you said you're really tired of this and you were disgusted. If you and CBS really want to help the mental population and help this situation, just be truthful. I mean, I can accept it. I really didn't. But I don't understand why y'all let me text you for that long. Um. I thought I made movies. I, there's so much stuff. We can go back. Digital forensic can pull up. There's so much data. You can see if it was forward through the whole where that message was forward to. There's so much, many ways. But anyways, I can't talk about my mental breakdown. I'm just telling you. Google, you really need to quit tracking people. I mean, it, uh, maybe I'm the only one this is done to, but that guy in Virginia thought his phone was hacked and everything. This is the only reason why I'm speaking out. And to prove that I really did reach out to people for my own mental stat status. Because if I really did, Wouldn't it be mentally bad if I was right? I got everybody telling me I'm wrong. What would it do for me? <sighs> CBS. I don't know. Commercials. That I talked to, and believed. There's so much stuff. You no, know, I bet you there's thousands of text messages I sent. WNM five TV five. So, there you go, if y'all want to help the mental population, I'm trying to help y'all, because that almost pushed me over the edge, who's to say it didn't do it to others, I'm just not around, or you don't believe me, Spongebob said kill you. Oh, there's a lot of stuff y'all don't realize in a mental breakdown. You don't know what you're doing, but you know, I know what I did. I, I can re relive it. I can relive it because I know what I did. 
but I didn't have control over it mentally. So I embedded it in my brain and 